Welcome to Gotta Run. This is Will Sanchez. My very special guest today is Julio Sauce. He runs for the West Side Runners. In 2015, Julio, for the New York City Marathon, came in first in his age group, a 2.37. What a remarkable run. I'm thrilled to have Julio as my guest. Thank you, my pleasure. You invite me to this show, so it's my opportunity. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Julio, before we talk about that remarkable marathon from last year, let's introduce you to our audience. Tell us where you were born, a little bit about your childhood. I was born in, my, in Ecuador. It's uh, with like a 12 hours the capital, so I'm the known the city. I'm living on the farm. So I'm very happy with there. When I was like a six, 16 years old, I came to think I have to run something. I never entrained there. Mm -hmm. So just that, uh, I say my friends say, hey, we have the, they have it to a race. You wanted to go to running? I go there. Uh, I win there. Really, your first race? <laughs> yeah, first race. I'm very, very happy. It's, I don't know, inspires my life myself because I never saw the people running because, you know, I'm very coming to farm and it's no, I'm not rich. That's okay. Did you have good shoes on or? Uh, I don't think I remember much. I think so. I don't know what kind of shoes I used. And after that, it stopped and I came running again. Uh -huh. Um, past the time, like 18, I'm coming to this country, like, uh, and you say, like, uh, 20 years old. Uh -huh. And I come watching the TV, the New York City Marathon, that I'm looking at uh, the first race, uh, race uh, Herman Silva. When I came, I saw the race on television. And I remember when I won Herman Silva, the Mexican. He's from Mexico. Look at this race. I need to run this, uh, this race. And you were uh, 20 years old at that time? Yeah, 20 years. And I'm beginning looking to uh, information, what is, what they can do, uh, what they can find, and what they can do, enter in the race. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of friends. Uh, no, no, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Past the years, two, three years. And I, know, I, don't, I don't know much of the city. It's a big city. Were you living in? Brooklyn. Okay. So I'm going to start working in Manhattan, and they call, I, I, want in, I see many friends, and say, I ask it. I ask for any Spanish people, I ask it because I don't speak much English, so I want to run. Yeah, say, yeah. I say, why don't you go to Central Park? You can find some people there. And they know, say, oh, okay. And I saw a couple of Spanish people running, and I say, hi, how are you? And uh, I started training, and after training, I say, uh, are you running? Yeah, I like running. I say, yeah, do you have a team? I, say, I don't have an idea that you have a team here. I say, no, I don't have it. I say, do you like to run for my team website? Yeah. So yeah. Why not? Because yeah, why not? <laughs> Your career started with the West yeah. Side Runners, yeah. Central Park, at, at age 23. Mm, yeah, it's, it's, no, it's 23, uh, past three years, like 26. You were 26? Yeah, 26. You got here at age 20. It took you 60 years to find yeah. a running club. Let me ask you this. Uh, you're from Ecuador. You did a 237. You were the first in your age group. Is, do you know if that's a record for, for a runner from Ecuador? No, we have uh, some people much better. Silvio Guerra. Oh, okay. Go back to Ecuador. You said we were, you were born on a farm. Lo extraño es esos días. A veces tenemos para comer, a veces no. Es imposible ella para tener un deseo o tiene un sueño. Pero el problema es casi los trabajos. Extraño a mis papás. Y más que todos, uno nunca sabe si les vuelve a ver. Pero sé que también de aquí los puedo ayudar. That means you had to get up and, and work. 
your farm duties, like cows? Yeah, cows, horse, uh, get the water. pig, or the water, or to get the water, or to the, cut the, the earth for, for some, I don't know. Okay. Were, you, were you an only child? Did you have to pitch in with everybody together? I have two sisters and four brothers. Okay. So we're working together and they have to, well, you know, it's like a three years, four years, we have to do something. Right, and right. then they go to the school. You know, I remember I have it nine years old, I never used the shoes. So maybe that's helping to me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it does. That's one of the secrets of the Kenyan runners. As children, they ran barefoot so their feet weren't constrained with shoes. Yeah. It's, it's a good thing. So yeah. that probably helped your feet. Yeah, I think so. I think one year that's okay. Because this and when when coming here one year, it's it's, it's a bit okay. of difference. Okay. Well, let's jump back. You know, you're 26 years old. You found a home in Central Park, West Side Runners. Mi sueño era llegar primero en mi categoría. Buenos días. Buenos días. Vamos. They've been around for a long time, so they must have been very supportive in, in helping you get better and better and strategy. At this time, what was your home life like? Did you find a job? Were you, were you, did you find a relationship? You know, you're in a big city by yourself, right? This is hard when you come here yourself and uh, you don't have much, much friends and like uh, when somebody told you, Hey, you have to do it. You have to do something for your future. Right, right. Uh, good, the good things to you. Right. It's just the yourself. What, what you want to do in the future. Uh, when I start to run, I say that's my passion. I think for me, that is a good, good thing. It's never. Uh, and I, I go a little bit back to Ecuador when I'm like 18 to 20. As you know, it's my country. You not, you don't think much as. Uh, you go to like a lot of nightclubs, mm -hmm. and when coming here, it's starting you start go to nightclubs. When I start to run, I say tomorrow I have to train it. I have to train tomorrow, so I don't need to go to nightclubs. I need, I don't need, I need to my train to focus on my, that I wanted to do. Right. So that is, is is hard to 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 think of that because a couple of friends say, "Hey, where are you going tonight? Will you go to dance something?" They say, "No, sorry, I have to run. I have to train tomorrow." You gotta and make new friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, new friends. Yeah, that's true. That's true. To support you in your running. Yeah. Now, what kind of work did you finally get in in, uh, in Brooklyn or in Manhattan? Now I'm working the the chef. Like almost 13 years in the same As place. A chef? Yeah. And you know, when the, when the beginning, when we started like a dishwasher, uh, work a couple of prayers, and, and then they start. The bottom, yeah, they start in the bar. Up. Yeah, yeah. I have a couple, a couple of friends there. My 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 boss is good, good boss, and he helped me for like for time for running. And then when okay. I need to go to a trip, at some point you met your wife here. Este país lo agradezco porque me ha dado la oportunidad para trabajar, para correr, para conocer a mi esposa. Digo gracias a Dios por dar una mujer como ella porque siempre me ha apoyado. Y mi hijo, él tiene sus sueños grandes y siempre lo apoyan. 
And thank you, God, for giving a, a nice wife here in this country. I met the, uh, her like in 2000. And we live together now for a little, like for 14 years. And a fortunate, I have a Mary last day in 2011. Uh -huh. And Mary, and I have a son, a beautiful son. I love it. That's my family now. That's my passion now. Now is my, my run. After the race, it's my family. She's from Mexico, so I love her, I love her. She is always support me, and she is always saying, say, you want to do it, do it. You, that's your passion, that's you like it. Just to do it, I'm here with, with, with you. And so that's, oh, that's making me, great. yeah. You need that family support. Yeah. Is your son old enough uh, to appreciate your running? Yeah, yeah, he he's, he loved it to run. And, and by the way, he's a little jealous now because uh, he said, the daddy, I don't know, because you, you're famous now. When uh, I got to pick up the number for the New York City last year, and a lot of people come and say, hi, how are you? And, and my son is like, is come behind me. See, so, yeah, after they go to the home, I say, daddy, it's everybody's to tell you, me, me nothing. Why? <laughs> <laughs> you have to introduce your son. This is my son, a future champion. Yeah, I do that. Times article already came out at that time when you went to the expo to pick up your number. Yeah. Very nice story on you. Oh, thank you so much. They uh, found me and uh, do that story. I don't have uh, too many words to say. I say just a thank you because after the, they do the video, they say, wow, if, if no, I'm going to start to raise, what a, where are I am I'm, I'm going? Where I'm doing? Whereas I don't know what's going on, on, on me in this life. But now I'm start the race because when beginning I have a couple of friends, in my country, and say, "Why are you running?" I says, "Why are you running?" It's you. It's, I don't want to mention the the walls, the bad wall, but I never stop because uh -huh. it's, it's like a, it's like a they. I mean. I'm mean, listen like uh, they wanted to to uh, stop you. No, don't right, run. Right, right. But me, I said no. This he tell me no running. That's make it more powerful to run. Uh -huh, okay. So that you have your other family with the West Side Runners. They're yeah, very important. yeah. That's uh, that's make make me happy. It's come on, we're to run. Yeah, we're, yeah. Tomorrow yeah. we're going to train so, it. So uh, when you prepared for the last year's marathon, the 2015 marathon, what was your running schedule like? How did you train for it? That's hard, but I, I love it. 2009, I did a very, very, very focus for my, in 2009, I remember, I can never, I forgot. I entered in like a hundred, 150 miles a week. That's a lot of miles. And, yeah, a lot of miles a week. And I'm, I'm feeling good one. I'm feeling, feeling very, very, very nice of shape, everything good, because I do it like a, all my schedule, like in the Monday to uh, distance, uh, Tuesday do it a uh, fat layer, and Wednesday I can distance, and th Thursday give, uh, make a uh, folder again, and on Friday I do the uh, the tracks speed, like uh, 200, 400 meters. Which track did you go to? Coney Island. Oh, track, Coney so, Island. Yeah, Coney really? Island. Really? Yeah, and. Saturdays I do like a 50 miles, and Sunday I do like a 20 miles. Now, did you have a yeah. rest day in there? No, no it's like I do a, Sundays do like a 20 miles, but the best lowly. Oh, okay, that yeah. was your long, slow Yeah, yeah it's lower in the distance. And then, you know, like it is, that's, I'm ready for the run of 2009. I have a little 
pain in my leg. In your hip? hip? In the, yeah. Hip and, flexor? Yeah. And they go to the check at the hospital and say, and you have to make a surgery by, by the way. Really? I'm crying. I'm crying in the hospital and they made the doctor say, why are you crying? Yeah. So, because you know, it's all my job dead for one year. I told the doctor, I say, hey doctor, I can do this after uh, the race. He said, okay, you can do it, but that's your life. That's your life. So you, know? you wanted to run before you had the surgery? Yeah. Because you felt, this, because it's, okay, yeah. after the surgery, you had to take a lot of time to recoup. Yeah. Okay, I so said, what did you do? I said, my wife is behind me, say, you have to do, you have to take care of yourself, you have to use some. So she's saying, have the surgery? Yeah, I said, okay, okay. when did the series? Next Thursday. What I have to do? I'm crying. And so after that, you know, Sunday, I'm, they just make a surgery to, uh, Thursday, the race is Sunday. I'm, I'm just in the home watching the TV at the race Sundays. I'm crying, watching. Yeah. Oh, my friend coming home and say, hey, Julio, don't worry about it. The race is coming again. That's right. There's so, only one of you, they say, but there's plenty yeah. of races. Now, what year was that? 2009. 2009? Yeah, 2009. Okay, well, you did make a comeback. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's jump for, the, for last year because your PR, right, your personal record for the 237 last year? Yeah. What was special about last year? Do you, do you remember, was the training worked out really well? Did you change anything? Was it the speed work or was just, you know, everything clicked? You know, what was the, the things that really helped you for last year? I did all my training here, the, the, my sketch I have, and sometimes I make a little extra. And, and then I try to oh, eat it, eat it all because your body needed to, when you're in training a lot, you need to, to eat and then all nutrition. What was your diet like? For breakfast, I have like a eggs, eggs, and I don't, I can, I can live with my race. <laughs> eggs and rice and cup of coffee. It's not, for me, it's uh, not much like a special to food. It's okay. just I make it, eat everything, but just uh, no, no like a lot. Okay. Just uh, eating and eggs and uh, and uh, no much of meat and like in the in the, in the half of the day. Yeah. No much uh, uh, red. No, not much red meat. No so red what meat. was your 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 lunch like? So a little vegetables and piece of the fish, or pasta. Uh, eat uh, much uh, bread okay. and water. Water, 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 okay. water. No, no vino. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. That's a up the race. <laughs> Maybe race, one can. Wine. Yeah, that. Okay. No. And what was dinner like? The Supper dinner time. like uh, pasta. It's pasta. usually more pasta or some little vegetables or uh, something, fish. A uh, couple of friends told me you can have to eat a little uh, beef. Beef, yeah, but, little, uh, little protein. Yeah, protein. You need protein, but. Uh, no, 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 don't eat much of red. You don't, red not much, but a little much. bit. A little bit. And, yeah. then, and then what was your drink of choice? Water again? Yeah, water. Yeah, water and uh, not much. And a couple of vitamins, something like that. Oh, oh so yeah. you, took, you took vitamins? Yes, yeah. I took some okay. vitamins a little bit. All right. Yeah. So it's nothing really special about the diet? No, no, no. Very no, sensible. No, 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 just to, for me, I think it's more a uh, focus on what I have to do. What I can, I can do is just to think and training. Uh, yeah, like in the weekends, it's very hard for me for in training uh, long distance. Because, because you work, right? Yeah, work. I mean, finish work like 12 turn in the morning. Yeah. I go to the home like a 1.30, something like that. I'm going to start to sleep like a 2 30, 3 in the morning. I have to wake up like a 6, 6.30. So I'm you hurt. got three hours, yeah. four hours of sleep. Yeah. That's, that's almost every weekend. Every weekend. During the week, you're able to sleep more? Yeah, in the week is a little more easier because no, and something like a Wednesday is in Thursday. It's little go to a little like eleven o'clock. I can go at home. So okay, it's so, just, uh, it's okay, so on, the, on the on the weekdays you you out of work by eleven o'clock. Yeah, because the weekends is the busy time. Busy Everybody's time, yeah. working. Now, what kind of food do you cook? American French food. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now, do you cook some of that for yourself at home? 
Yeah, yeah, we cook at home. My wife them cook some sometimes, but I cook at home, on the home okay. too. When I, cook, okay. I invite some friends, so and sometimes. Okay. okay, so you got lots of a variety. Yeah, you got Ecuadorian food, Mexican food, and French American food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got a real fusion. Now, what's the best thing? With you know, you, you were lucky. You found a good group, the West Side Runners. What's the best thing about that group? What is it that you really like about them? What did it, what make them special to you? They all the time they told me a couple of friends and say, you can do it. Just a full focus in your mind. You can do it better than better. Okay. And sometimes it's a help a little bit and the, and the race is a little support. So, and that's, this is, this I like because you know this, because the race in the, in the new city is not, not too, not too cheap. It's, Oh, very expensive. Very it's over expensive. Some race, yeah. So, yeah. So they help you with yeah, some kind help. of scholarship or yes. some kind of monies. Yeah, yeah. A lot of help. clubs do that. Yeah, oh, that's excellent. Help. And they have they have their own colors. So you, the uniform. Do you like wearing their uniform? Yeah, yeah. What's it? W S X. Yeah, W S X. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. seen that. I wonder what that X stands for. You know, extra cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, extra cool, extra. Yeah. I told Bill all the time. I said, thank you. Appreciate you. Okay. And, uh, and the, the year, say, uh, okay. because that's, this year it told me, oh, are you okay? I'm okay. I'm very, very happy on the team. Thank you, the West oh, Side. Excellent, excellent. Now, do you have a coach with that team? You know, sometimes people have a coach that advises them, okay, you know, this week we want to do, you know, this kind of setup because you mentioned yeah. long distance speed work, track work. More, more track work. Does somebody help you put that schedule together, or do you do it yourself? I sometimes I do uh, my schedule myself, but now, but, but because now I, I try to do it. My coach is uh, he's in the West Side also. What's his name? He's uh, Felipe Vergara. He's good runner, and he gave me the, the schedule every every weekend. Every weekend. Yeah, every and, weekend. And is, is your schedule year round? You run all year round? Yeah. So oh, no, take... it is like for two months, and then uh, they, he's changed. Okay, he sent us okay, this. This is for next two months. Oh, this every is for eight weeks or something. Yeah, yeah he's to, what to change. Oh, okay. what change. Now, do you run year round? Yeah. Okay. You run all the time. Yeah, all the time. All the time. Now, you do any kind of cross training, like bicycle swimming. Uh, swimming and like bicycle. I, I did sometimes. I got to the training for. I got to training in Prosper Park. I first one uh, go there and take a bike four miles and four go and four back, so eight miles on the bike. Okay. And run like for 60 miles sometimes. Oh, okay. And then back like uh, eight miles for bike. All right, yeah. all right. Bikes are going. Prospect Park, that's a beautiful park. Yeah, this is good. It's the more the bigger than the Brooklyn. Okay. <laughs> <And> the Brooklyn, <laughs> okay. because they have it more bigger. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, for the future, do you have, what's your next big race that you're training for or you want to do? Now I'm focusing on the Long Island Marathon. Last two years, take a third place. Third place overall? Overall, yeah. Okay. So um, I'm thinking this year, I'm very, very focused on this race. Uh, okay, I you want to... Wanna, wanna... What a PR there or something. Long uh, Island, it's, uh, it's probably not too shady, right? It's not too many trees, a lot of sun. Oh, yes, a lot of sun, a lot of wind. Though. A lot of wind, too. Yeah, a wind. Uh, hopefully in the back. <laughs> no, it's not for, in the but back is okay. <laughs> and the back is much a help. Uh, okay. For me, it's help. But what is it like a oh, right. in the front? That makes it very tough. Yeah, they're very Is, is it flat? Uh, yeah, it's flat in the, in the beginning. It's little, very little tough because that's always high wind. Oh, it's high wind. High wind, and there's come when they uh, Oh, high wind, you said. Uh, yeah, high wind. And then can I come back? There's a little little hill after uh, after mile 18. Right. Oh, so, so you go out and back? Is that yeah. It? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck on that. Thank you so are, much. Are you going to do New York? Uh, in yeah, 2016? I'm doing again. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm do this. I'm try to do this year again. I'm try to my. Uh, I I wish again win my my age. The age group. Yeah. Which is what? Group. 40 to 45. Yeah, 40 to 45. All right. To 37, is, that's probably won several age groups. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very tight. Some, many, a uh, couple years, last uh, couple years, it's uh, many tough guys, very, very strong. Oh, yeah, strong. New York City, 
I, I guess maybe over 300, 400 runners go under three. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it it's, is. You, this is the best marathon in the world, and you're one of the best in your age group. Well, listen, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much to you for inviting me. Thank you, my pleasure.